Good evening. Good evening. Well, welcome, man. What a nice night. I welcome you to the conferring of the 13th, 46th, 51st, 68th National Book Awards. I do not wish to minimize the difficulty that the author faces in being faithful to his talent. The very fact that these awards are given today is a recognition of the struggle to maintain a high standard. This is huge. This is a huge big deal. Tonight promises to be a beautiful evening in which we will celebrate some of the finest writing of the year. It's a charge and a thrill to be acknowledged as well as a confirmation that doing what you love and sharing what you love can bring this much reward. Great writing, it requires you to be an athlete of the heart. Resistance and change often begin in art and very often in our art, the art of words. Awards in general can bring attention to books that we may not know of, or it brings attention to books that we may have dismissed. I'm astonished. Wow. It's too much. Thank you. I hope that the nominees enjoy every minute of this fleeting, but at the same time permanent, acknowledgement of your very considerable gifts. When we're thinking about books, we have to remember opportunity and options. I know the National Book Foundation is constantly bringing writers out to communities where people might be dreaming of writing but not daring to write, might be dreaming of reading but not daring to ask for books. Seeing a medallion on a book signals this is a book that has been vetted by a very smart group of people and I should really read it. I think that every time a book is recognized in some broad way, it's a moment of maybe tugging on the sleeve of someone who's not a habitual reader. Access to the written word can elevate people and change society. This is not just about entertainment. Reading is about educating citizens. It's a civics lesson as well. If you're gonna have an enduring civilization, you need to have an enduring commitment to books. Storytelling is part of our DNA, is part of our destiny. I think it's contributing a great deal to our society, especially in these strange and sometimes dangerous times. There is a reader in every single nook and cranny of this country. And our mission is to celebrate the best literature in America, to widen its audience, and to make sure that books remain culturally relevant. The National Book Foundation was, it wasn't just that one awards night, it was, it's like a year long party for books. And in terms of developing programs around that idea, the educational programs reach all sorts of different audiences. We work with young people in our Book Up program. We work with young people and families living in public housing communities across 25 different states. And we work with publishing partners to secure large quantities of donated books that are able to go directly into the homes of children and families. Anything that's protecting books, that's amplifying the vitality of story itself is vital. We need books, we need stories, we need literature. I can see a transformation in our children, those who have benefited from the program. The work that the Foundation has been doing in getting books out there to people who might not otherwise pick them up is the most important work that it does. I think people recognize how important uh, literature is, how important reading is. They don't always necessarily understand how much work it takes to keep that, keep that alive. I think the National Book Award will exist 70 years from now, but it will evolve as it has evolved over the past 70 years. I hope we have 70 years to keep on strengthening our literary communities and to keep supporting authors and to keep reminding everybody, no matter where they are situated, that books are for them.